Hello, it's Darren at Moonhair Studios again. Um, just today, going to have a little look at the QCon functionality as far as mute solos on, along the channel strip go. And just one of those features that I really like about the QCon, which is uh, being able to program your own buttons into the F keys. And in this particular installment, I'm going to be looking at some macros within Cubase. So if anybody's not used macros before um, this is just a, a very simple one but there's an awful lot you can do with them so let's dive in so really today I'm, I'm looking at the most basic of functions we've got uh, the QCon here with the channel strips for eight channels plus the master fader obviously and uh, you know you only have to tap on a fader and you'll be able to select your channel quite nicely and so you can step up eight at a time or one at a time um, and just have a look around really so when you're playing obviously quite a lot of the time we're um, deciding we're going to be doing a, a little bit of soloing out of instruments just to have a listen to them so let's say we're soloing out a few of the strings over here um, maybe the guitars we want in as well um, and why not a bit of, bit of the old percussion over over here now that's great, it all looks fine and now we want to go back to our original mix and that means scrolling through all of the screens and just basically unsoloing everything. So my little trick really is to have just one button to do the whole lot. That will take off any mutes, any solos that you've got and you don't have to worry about scrolling backwards and forwards through what might be a really considerable track listing. So how does it work? I'll show you now okay so what you need to do is we're, we're actually going to program a macro to do this because it's not just one command there's there's two there which will allow you to get rid of any mutes or solos that you happen to have active and you need to go into file key commands and then you want to show macros now this will bring up any that you've already got programmed in including any defaults that came with Cubase and what we're going to do is we're going to create a new macro. Now you can actually see that my um, I've already done my one solo and mute off, um, but we'll create a new one. So give it a useful name. And this would happen with any macro that you're doing. So solo and mute. And then you're going to start adding commands now there are literally hundreds of different commands that you can choose from um, you know everything from adding tracks exporting audio all sorts of different stuff in here now what we need is in the edit menu there's a lot of stuff in the edit menu you, you really are just going to have to look through and see what you've got because there are all sorts of different things but you can see i've already been poking around in here sorry it's it's like uh, already pre-selected really but under the edit menu we've got defeat or mute states De uh, sorry deactivate all mute states and deactivate all solo states we want both of these so we'll put that in there add command you can see that's in there then that one add command and now we can okay it so now that macro is saved right so now we're going to need to somehow get that macro onto the QCOM Pro X and the way to do this is to go into the studio menu studio setup and you're looking under the remote devices for Mackie control and this gives you the list of F keys and obviously we've got a bank of F keys that are totally programmable here on the icon and that's going to relate to all of these here now I've got my solo and mute off on F7 uh, but let's put it on um, F5 for now and just uh, see how we get on so you select the category of command you want to put in there first and that could be anything from an add track command down to you know sort of importing stuff um, preferences all sorts of things some more useful than others but we're going to go into our macro section click that and then go on to the second column the command column and find the command that we wanted which was solo and mute and so 
we'll select that and now F5 is set up as solo and mute and you'll see I, I was practicing earlier on that's embarrassing isn't it um, so anyway that's ready now we can apply that okay it and now if we start uh, playing something and we do say a whole load of mutes all over the show it's just anything that we fancy um, right so now all we have to do is press F5 and they're all gone and equally if we were to solo out a whole load of instruments and bits and pieces in different places um, exactly the same thing F5 will just take all that off so really good use for macros and as I say really it's more about your workflow you find the macros that work for you and just program them into that bank of F keys it's it's so useful to to have that there and as I say I tend to not use it for simple commands that I can easily reach with with my my mouse or perhaps my keyboard but for stuff where there's more than one stage to that it's really useful just one last tip before we go if you've got automation set up on your faders and they're moving about and you decide you want to do a, a bit of an adjustment always remember to press the fader down just a little bit more than touching it touching it will select uh, your channel but pressing the fader down you'll get a little blue light comes up here and that will stop the fader fighting against you sometimes it feels like the fader is trying to pull its way out from under your finger but just make sure you've got it just that little bit firmer down that blue light comes on and, and hopefully you should have a, a nice smooth travel on your fader okay that's it for today hope that was helpful and uh, you know if you do want to subscribe as I say that's fine but I'm not after it I don't get advertising for this so uh, I just hope they're useful tips cheerio